This video is about the difference between 4.6 cranks. We have a forged crank and a cast crank from a 4.6. The forged crank is commonly referred to as a Kellogg crank and you can see right away it's got a different color. It's They're normally like a purplish color uh, due to the hardening process that it goes through. Other notes that are easy to pick up on as you can see down the center of these, these are in the same position. Down the center, there's two additional counterweights on the forged vise, the cast crank. The other obvious difference is going to be the 8 bolt versus the 6 bolt on the cast. Another difference that you can see with these is going to be the parting line. It's referred to as the parting line. And on a forged, it's going to be a lot wider than on a cast, much more narrow due to the process of making the two cranks. The forged Kellogg crank was m mostly found in 96 to 01 Cobras. Some say they found them in uh, aviators. I have yet to find one inside of an aviator. The cast crank 4.6 was found in anything that came with a 4.6, your Crown Vix, uh, any of your Mercury's or anything like that that came with a uh, mainly a single overhead cam 4.6 as far as capability um, the cast crank is actually a pretty good crank I have yet to hear of one of these cranks failing um, but generally they're used up to about 800 horsepower or so maybe 7,000 rpms max rpms the forge Kellogg crank uh, that's generally accepted up you know above a thousand horsepower uh eight to nine thousand rpms okay the last thing i'm going to do to compare these two cranks is weigh them before i go into some of the inspection process and what to look for uh if you're looking to pick up one of these cranks or to check and see if it's any good before you take it to the machine shop which i recommend that you do okay first thing i'm going to do is zero out Zero out the scale. Forged crank is right at 50. cast crank 43 and a half so about seven pounds difference okay so for inspection purposes if you're going to be getting one of these things first you're going to want to look at start from the front and just work your way back look for any type of damage on here these are two good cranks i have a couple bad ones after i show you these ones so you can see what the bad ones would look like The main place that I see these get worn out is the thrust bearing surface along this edge here and this back edge right here. If these areas are damaged or worn out, uh, they're really hard to fix and not worth it. A machine shop would charge probably six, seven hundred bucks to do it if they can do it because they would need to weld and add material on there and then machine it back down. But these are two good known known good cranks. Uh, you can inspect right in here if they're going to crack. Some crank some cranks will crack in the fillet area or the radius inside it, the journal area. These two cranks, these are two Kellogg cranks. You can see they also have the the color the purplish color to them uh, but these two are, have been damaged and I'll try to get to show up on camera these aren't this aren't this isn't too bad this could probably be polished out but as you move down you can see that that rod bearing that if you can feel it with your nail you can also get a, a better feel 
if you're actually wearing gloves, you can feel the difference in the texture of the of the metal if you're wearing gloves. And I like to wear gloves when I'm handling these anyway because I don't want to etch the metal with any of the acid from my skin. I, I advise using gloves as well when you're handling these. And here, this one also has worn out thrust bearing surface. Might be kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's along this side indented in there this one the thrust bearing surface is okay however it's spun a bearing rod bearing this can be cleaned up this isn't too bad uh ten thousands maybe twenty thousands if you find that you got one of these cranks that has damage in it uh take it to your machine shop and see if they can repair it uh, worst they're going to say is no, they can't repair it, or they're going to give you a price on how much it would cost to fix it. Uh, but generally, these cranks can be turned down uh, 20 or 30 thousandths before uh, the strength of them is compromised. There are probably some bearing manufacturers that make 40 thousandths, 50 thousandths bearings, but I don't build them past 20 thousandths uh that's it so thank you and lastly i would also recommend if you have a, mach a machine shop fix up your crank uh put it in a bag oil it down real good i like to use atf because it's got cleaner in it um, but clean it up real good and leave it in a bag for storage